you hear? Was it an accident? I heard suicide. Oh, poor things. The whole building could have gone up. Please, let's just go. It'll just take a second. Yuri, I'm so sorry. How long have you worked with the Dubois? Going on 10 years now. You must have been very close. I was thinking if you'd like to have dinner with I'm us. I'm sure Yuri has other plans. No, not really. Well, I'm sure he'd rather be alone. But he shouldn't. He's not coming for dinner. I'm the new owner. Who the hell are you? Yuri. You, uh, you fixed this? Oh, well, um, you know, I did the best I could with the budget I was given. So you're, uh, B and Pauline's cousin? Second cousin. What do you figure it costs to fix this all up, paint it over? Well, you hire a professional, it's gonna cost you a small fortune. You hire me. I'll cut you a deal. You got a wife and kids? Yeah. Why? Well, you know, the Dubois apartment, it's pretty cramped for a family, so I figured you give me a month, I tear down a wall, I relocate a tenant. I look like a masochist? No, no, no. Got to touch-ups here and there. I'm gonna put this palace up for sale. I don't like it. What's not to like? New owner, 
fresh start. New owner, jacked up rents, we could all be squeezed out. They still need a super, right? And do you think a new owner would keep you on? Well, why mess with success? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. I mean, what with your hard work, your, your dedication, your right. way with people. <laughs> your way with people. <laughs> I had a fat mom. <laughs> <laughs> you You're kidding, right? We called you with that toilet a month ago. I was backed up a month ago. Yeah, well, so was our toilet. We called in a plumber who came in the same day. Okay, then. Uh, how's your sink? Any windows stuck? I'm here to help. Pretty good, huh? No more dripping. What do you want, a medal? No. A cup of coffee might be nice. We'll keep it by now. Dr. Carlism. <laughs> Carlisle, you ass. Hey, listen, if the building is sold, can I count on you for a reference? Actually, I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... It's one of my earlier works. Uh, some of it's a bit out of date, but uh, the gist remains the same. Oh, oh. furry. It's okay, furry. It's okay, furry. I told just, him. Just stay in there. Told who what? Bobby. About us. Us? What, what, what us? We slept together once, months ago. I couldn't live with myself anymore. So you told him? How stupid is that? Well, he's furious and he's looking for you. Oh. Well, me and Furry were shaking in our boots. Oh my god, it's his kendo stick. Ah! Holy shit. Bobby. I think I'm stuck. Oh dear, are you all right? I don't know, I'm all jitterbuggery. We better head outside in case there are aftershocks. <laughs> Go screw. For Christ's sake. I think I'm injured. No, I don't care. Jesus! Let me tell you how sorry I am. Hey, will you stop that? My marriage? 
is over. Kid, if your wife jumped me as fast as she did, your marriage was already over. Okay, no, 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 just kidding. Okay, seriously, seriously. Wasn't like that. Okay. She was drunk, and well, <laughs> we were horny. No. No, 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 not horny, confused. Yeah, we were confused. That's it, it was, it was very confusing. Ah, stop that! Hey, well, where are you going? You're gonna send for help, right? I mean, you're not just gonna leave me lying here. Genius! The door, it, it opens the other way. What were you doing? You can't stay here. I think my husband's still in there. No, no, you come with us. Come on. Come on. Do you see Ruby? Jesus. Are you crying? This is why I have no time for love. You have no time for love because you're unlovable. You're incapable of any human emotion. Because I'm a man. Because you're an asshole. Sometimes I have to be perceived as an asshole to be effective in my job. You think you're effective? You suck. Take it you wouldn't give me a reference either? Dumper kid. You're young. Someone else will come along. You're an idiot. You don't know anything about us. Bobby? Bobby? Bobby, is that you? Are you in there? Bobby. We're trapped in here, and you've had a cell phone the whole time. Okay, I'll call for help. After I get an apology. Okay, look, I am very sorry for stooping your wife. Now please, dial 911. That hey. was not hey. sincere. You're wigless? In the kerfuffle. Here. Thank you. Where are you going? Stanley's office. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Bangkok? Oh, thank you. I'm hungry all the time lately. I don't even know why I'm worried about him. He never worries about me. Well, we watch you and we do hey. Exactly. Men are idiots. <laughs> Have another cookie. I'm pregnant. My big brother, Jake, beat me up all the time. So, I saved up my allowance and I started taking kendo classes. And then my brother found out, and he beat me up even more. I can hardly feel my legs. 
I kept taking the classes, though. And Bobby, she taught her extra jive class in the room right next door. I'd watch her class through the glass doors. I'd think to myself, someday some lucky bastard is going to marry that girl. Can you please do me a favor? Can you take that stick of yours and bash my brains in so I don't have to listen to this shit anymore? Oh, oh. This isn't shit. OK, I'm talking about life, about love. That's not love. Grow some stones. I'm going to tell you a little story, so pay attention, OK, Mr. Pollyanna? Oh. I'm six. Well, my daddy takes me to the park. And I climb on top of one of those things, you know, those climbing things. But I'm too scared to come back down, so my dad, he says, jump. I'll catch you. So I jump, and, well, my dad, he drops his arms, and he steps aside, and slam, I hit the earth. So I'm, you know, spitting out dirt and bawling my eyes out, and my daddy, he, he comes up to me and he says, life lesson number one, son. Don't expect no one to catch you when you fall. He's a great man, my dad. That's love. Someone who's willing to tell you the truth, even though it might hurt. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Who's furry? My hamster. You know, she had nothing to gain and everything to lose. But she told you anyway. She told you the truth, even though it could have ruined everything. I'm just saying. Bobby? Bobby? Bobby, how did you? They wouldn't let us back in the building, so I borrowed a ladder. You hurt me so bad, Roberta. I know. Pretend I'm not here. Why don't you guys uh, go ahead, and I'll um, I'll come right after you. 
I'll hold the ladder for you. I won't let you fall. Yeah, whatever. You're a furry on yourself. So furry on yourself. Just 